I'm back. I meant it when I said it that I want to keep doing this every day, Monday through Friday for a while, where I just get on here and talk about my thoughts on everything that's happening in the world of NASCAR. And uh, yeah, I'm sunburnt. I'm tired. Um, two days of fishing. We encountered seven foot waves on Saturday at Dale Hollow Lake. That was insane. And uh, yeah, I, I did get a chance to pay attention to what was happening in the NASCAR world. So let's talk about it. Kyle Larson got the win. Congrats to him. My pick was William Byron. Unfortunately, he got took out in a late race crash after leading a lot of the race. Now, I got to say this. I looked up the stats on this race, and it, it surprised me as to how honestly good on paper this race looks like it was and what I heard of it on the radio and paid attention to it. Uh, we had a total of... Like, I think, I forget how many leaders we had, but I know we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys led 10 laps or more. One, two, three, four guys led over 50 laps in this race. So overall, I think we saw a pretty competitive race on paper, it looks like. Kyle Larson got the win. Josh Berry comes in second. Ross Chastain third. Christopher Bell, fourth, and Kevin Harvick, fifth. Now, the person I want to talk about in this is Ross Chastain and Christopher Bell. After the race, my good buddy Noah Lewis, along with several others in the NASCAR media world, they got together and they was able to ask Christopher Bell his thoughts on what happened to the contact that he had with William Byron, uh, pretty much ending his day and giving him a bad finish. Christopher Bell, he said that it was Ross Chastain's fault. He was quoted saying, the bonsai guy, he ran it in three wide, referring to uh, Ross Chastain, calling him a wrecking ball. And I got to say, Christopher Bell, you couldn't be any more farther from the truth. Watch the replay here. Not too good a run here. Waited on him a little bit. Got a side-by-side. -side. Try to be on his door and stay on that outside tight. Four wide for third. Oh, oh. and around he goes. In, up and into the wall goes. The 24. Bell got in the back of William Byron, turns him around. Cautions breed cautions, boys. And that looked like that was Ross Chastain's fault at all. No, it didn't. Now, Christopher Bell ended up apologizing and saying that it wasn't Ross Chastain's fault once he got a chance to see the replay. He apologized for that on social media. This question's coming up. I've seen a few people talk about this. Is Ross Chastain getting to everyone's head? Because in Ross Chastain's post-race interviews, uh, he said to Noah Lewis and a few others that they all seem to just walk right by him and don't say anything. People are seeming to talk about Ross Chastain behind his back, and they don't want to say it to his face. And it seems like now, if there's any kind of contact with anything close to Ross Chastain, now he might just be the scapegoat to say, oh, he's an aggressive driver. Oh, he did this. He did that. And... At times, yes, we've seen Ross Chastain be very aggressive. But is that now giving him an X factor of intimidation? I don't want to sit here and call him the intimidator. I don't want to call him a modern day Dale Earnhardt because he's not that by any means. But he is getting under people's skin. So where does Ross Chastain go up this now? Does he use this to his advantage? Does he drive knowing that people are going to be a little worried about him? Does he go in and make those moves like he did at Richmond? Does he use this, you know, to to continue to get under people's heads? And, you know, he, he's making enemies out there, but in a lot of ways, he's also getting good finishes. He's getting good results. Sometimes maybe you need to be the bad guy. And maybe Ross Chastain is embracing that a little bit, and he knows that, People can make mistakes when they know that they're around Ross Chastain, when they know that he's there. In this instance, though, uh, Christopher Bell did come out and say, you know, he was wrong. He was the one at fault there. If anything, I think maybe Kevin Harvick pushed the issue a little bit there. Definitely not on Ross Chastain in this case. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Is, is this something to watch for? Is Ross Chastain, you know, the new bad boy that we all think he is? Or is he the new, you know, the newest version of an intimidating factor on the racetrack? Uh, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more daily NASCAR talk. And we'll do other videos on this channel related to NASCAR. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. 
And uh, this weekend we will be at Dirt Bristol. So we'll have interviews at the track and uh, maybe a few other content. So until next time, have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video from Day2B Talks. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Day2B Talks. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.